took out the back of a metro bus first. Apparently the tanker that overturned struck a metro bus first, struck um, a SUV. I seen him hit the metro. Then he took out the blazer. Then this lady was about to hit him head on. He ran her into the fence, yeah. right along with the SUV. He flipped over. I saw the occupants of the SUV running away from their vehicle. Also struck a second SUV and a Cadillac that both went into the fence as the overturn. Um, all of the other parties in the accident said that he was traveling at a high rate of speed. They saw his wheels actually lifting up off the road. So they were trying to get out of his way before they were crushed by the vehicle. Oh! I see them hit that car. I see them stop the pole. We were just glad that it wasn't anything flammable that was in that tanker that was leaking. The telephone pole snapped in half, came down, and a big ball of fire just burst out. I thought that was a gas truck. All I was thinking about was get everybody out of my house. Get out of my house. Get as far as you can get. I'm waking everybody up. Two were transported to the hospital. Um, from my understanding, the other ones were shaken up. I don't know if the Metro driver was going to need medical attention afterwards, um, but there were actually five, a total of five vehicles involved, five drivers, and one passenger, a second passenger, and then one vehicle. So two went to the hospital. And he said get out because he's seen fire. And he's the yelling transform. like the transformer. Yeah. And, and he was up That's in the building right here. He was. This guy was in the building seeing the whole fire. That made it all.